In this video, I will compare Flutterflow versus Adelo versus Bubble and tell you which of these no code or low code app builders is best for you and your project. So, starting with Flutterflow. The Flutterflow platform works with Algolia and CodeMagic to offer deep searches, and CodeMagic will test and validate the application before it is made available. The user interface for Flutterflow is pretty simple to operate. As a no-code app builder, Flutterflow represents a great option to build amazing native apps and even more if you use tools like Flutter. That will allow you to extend the development by adding traditional code. Although if you are looking for a platform to build desktop apps or to solve your business needs, Flutterflow may not be the best option. In this regard, you may want to consider other platforms such as Bubble or Adelo, which is what we will cover next. So Adelo is pretty popular among small to medium sized businesses, hobbyists, freelancers and startups that want to quickly and easily create custom apps for their specific needs. Some of the key features of Adelo include over 25 beautifully designed drag and drop components, dynamic actions like push notifications, link pages, login and permissions, or its more recent features, the follow unfollow function, and the sorting and filtering in the in-editor Adelo component marketplace. So they have a marketplace with a bunch of components that you can buy from there. Now lastly, before the conclusion, we will look at Bubble. So the main difference between Bubble and the rest of these platforms is that the development of apps and mainly web apps takes place within a closed environment hosted within the same platform. Unlike with Flutterflow, for example, where the development can be extended thanks to platforms such as Flutter. A plus of Bubble is the subscriptions. If your app is based on or has a subscription model, you should really consider using Bubble. The way it presents and manages subscriptions is better than these other two. Now in terms of ease of use, Adelo has a bit of a learning curve, but it has great documentation and starter templates that make it easier to get started. With Flutterflow, getting used to the platform will take more time before you can move forward. Building your app will take time, creativity and effort. The simple and minimalist architecture of Bubble can seem simple at first. But don't be fooled, because the use of the platform requires a certain degree of knowledge and experience with this type of platform. So now finally, which one should you choose? So Flutterflow, Adelo and Bubble are three great options to choose from. And the right one really depends on what your specific needs and goals are. To choose the right platform, you should first identify what you want to accomplish with it such as building a website, mobile app, or creating automated workflows. Then take into account the features and tools that you need and which platform can give them to you. So what I will do is again, if you are building an app that is based on subscriptions or has subscriptions, I would go with Bubble. Now I would go with Adelo if you want to build a web app and if you want to build a mobile app then I would go with Flutterflow. Now in terms of ease of use I think of these three options Adelo is probably the easiest one to use and Flutterflow gives you the most advanced options. So if you're a complete beginner, probably I would go with Adelo, although you will also be able to use these other ones. It will just take a little bit longer. So that concludes this comparison of Flutterflow versus Adelo versus Bubble. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.